Welcome back to today's edition of Fix It Fridays. Today we're going to address a master bedroom suite. When I did this project, it was actually 10 years ago. I think it's every bit as beautiful today as it was 10 years ago. And here's what the clients requested. We were remodeling their entire house and at first they were not going to include the master bedroom. Once we got near the end, the husband said, go ahead and do it but you've got $10,000 or less, which is not a lot for a master bedroom when you're buying all new furniture and new carpet and new window treatments and lighting and accessories, blah, 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 blah. But he said, I want our bedroom to be a love shack. I said, I bet you do. The challenge in this bedroom wasn't really the budget so much because I can do that. It's that one window and not one on the other side. And I said, let me put in a second window and then we could do something really great and this would be symmetrical. And they said, no. Why do they do that? Oh, you think you know me and that I was going to add a mirror, right? Wrong. A lot's going on today. Dr. Electric is doing all kinds of stuff. We're working on the love shack for you. I'm gonna do a side cut. It's a vaulted ceiling, okay? So the low end, is where the bed was. That makes that ceiling look kind of squatty. Going up the staircase. We're okay on the ceiling line. So far. <laughs> so here was my thought. What if I take that bed and I scoot it forward 12 inches? Hang on. Oh, I can't even you ready? Look how much higher that is. Oh, wait, 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 there's something you're gonna run into. Oh, dear God. That means my back wall becomes here, 12 inches out. Oh, okay. Wait. And since they're not gonna let me put in a second window, I'm not gonna let them have this one either. <laughs> then I literally upholstered the entire back wall. Yep covered in fabric so that no light would come through here. It was solid. And the curtain is made out of fabric. This is the magical moment. See this space between here and here? I had my lighting guy install little puck lights. That curtain in the smoky gray is sheer. That allows you to see the lights that are behind the curtain. I bought a relatively inexpensive headboard, a new bench at the end of the bed, beautiful new bedding, new nightstands, and a rich espresso color, and we've got this symmetrical backdrop. Is that like amazing? Oh, I'm sorry, you can't really tell? Well, would it help if I showed you what it looked like? Bam! clients have four little children all under the age of seven. I didn't think they really needed more of a love shack. We got a <clears throat> grown-up bedroom, honey. Absolutely. I mean, clearly what they had was working. Do you see these little tiny mirrors in here? Do you see those? The light just captures them. And then each one of these lights is on a single dimmer. So you can make this as romantic and dark as you want or as bright as you want. You know, I took their window away, right? And I didn't tell them, by the way. I didn't get their permission. <laughs> what they had, in addition, and you should know this, is they had a window here, and they had a French door here. So this side of the room is all very much natural light. And then I took and had curtains out of the same fabric made that can close all the way across there so they can have complete blackout if they want to. When I did this project, it was actually 10 years ago. But leave me a comment below and let me know, do you think this bedroom is out of style? You better not say yes.